year's mini budget was full of bad news for Canadians. Rent up, taxes up, prices up, and interest rates up to fight the inflation his deficits caused. In fact, Scotiabank said that their mortgage rates would be two full percentage points lower if the government could just control its spending. That would be the difference for hundreds of thousands of Canadians between losing their home and being able to renew their mortgage. So. Does the government realize that time is running out and will they end their deficit spending so that Canadians can keep their homes? Mr. Speaker, the leader of the official opposition is, and his MPs are simply not worth the risk. He and his MPs voted against the Canada-Ukraine free trade deal. Why, Mr. Speaker? They made a brutal political calculation that they would have more support from their far-right base here in Canada and in Russia and their friends in the United States than if they would abandon Ukrainians. Cold, calculated, cruel. Behold, Mr. Speaker, the new Conservative what a disgrace. The Honourable Member from Regina Capel. What's disgraceful and cruel is using Ukraine's vulnerability while Russian tanks are on its soil to shove a carbon tax permanently down their throat. And don't be fooled by their phony outrage. They are desperate to talk about anything except for their terrible budget. That's because not only are workers' paychecks going to pay higher prices and interest rates, but now their tax dollars are going to pay higher interest payments on the national debt. In fact, next year, the government will spend more on that national debt than on health care and the armed forces. When will the government stop their deficits so we can pay doctors and nurses and soldiers instead of bankers and bondholders? Yeah.